Hi everybody and welcome to this Rookie Division playthrough for the Blast Off Tournament here on the BK Golf Clash YouTube channel. Hope you're all doing well, please do. Hit thumbs up on the video, it does help me out here on the channel and make sure you're subscribed as well, totally free to do so. All nine holes, replays and adjustments coming up in the voiceovers here for Rookie Division and as always on the channel, I am using true rookie level clubs. Plenty of drops to show you here and there are some great opportunities and some tricky moments on the Nam Hay Cliffs course. Finally, please do join us on Facebook, BK Golf Clash Facebook group. Loads of members there, free content as well, and shot sharing as well as general tips to help you improve your gameplay, which can also be found on the channel homepage as well. Check out the Academy tutorials if there's anything you don't understand in this video. We have tutorials covering lots of stuff and elements in the gameplay, all designed to help you score better in the game of Golf Clash. Let's get started. Hole number one, then we have crosswind here. I'm going with a Titan this time, just to give myself a little bit more distance. Four and a half miles of topspin with my extra mile level six, setting up at max distance. I'm also using a little bit of right spin. Need to check your second bounce is in the rough on the other side. The idea is we want to bounce in that rough and once again, roll out. I adjust this one max distance plus 10%. I'm not gonna pu push up at all, and I'm not gonna overpower because I'm using a Titan. Can use a katana if you'd like, but you would need to push up and maybe go with a little bit of OP as well, depending what club you have. We bounce there nicely in the rough and roll out. And the idea is that we want to finish on the fringe or before the fringe. If we go too far, we're on the green and we may not reach with our putter. Simple wedge from here. I'm lucky enough to have the end bringer. Even in level one, I will switch to the end bringer. So I'm playing a no spin shot here and adjusting a couple of rings. So 1.7 rings if you're using end bringer, but if you haven't got the end bringer, just use the wedge you're most comfortable with. But it's a makeable chip here for an eagle on hole number one. On to hole number two, thorn here, or whatever short iron you do have. Playing with half a bar of uh, backspin, and in the end, I don't go with any right spin. I'm just going with the backspin only. I'm aiming right edge of the cup, but as you will see in a moment, I need to offset a little bit more. So just pause the video, have a look. I adjust this one mid distance plus 15% elevation, mid plus 15. Alternate here, you can use a navigator if you would like to cut the wind down give you less of a wind push, which may also help, but a marlin is fine as well. Really good speed with the uh, backspin, but just look at that curve on the green. We need to aim just a fraction more to the right or maybe add 0.1 to our ring adjustment. So very close there. Hole number three, I'm using a berserker, but you could get away with a Titan if you like. I'm setting up here with extra mile level six at around a plus nine yard mark, I think. And I'm going with a couple of bars of top spin and also some left spin, actually setting up at plus six. I would like you to go with a little bit more top spin, though we are short here on our drive. Um, I'm putting on half a ball of left curl, adjusting max plus 20. But as you can see, we do need to be a little bit further up. You can play with a Titan if you'd like. I would suggest then going with a little bit of overpower as well, so you get up to where those shadows are. But a berserker, you can afford to go slightly short and still have a very makeable second shot. But playing with the big dog, I am at max distance here. Thankfully, we are reaching from my drive distance. And I'm going with one bar of left spin only. No back spin, no top spin. So we've got the yellow ring centered nicely in the rough. And then I'm adjusting max plus zero. It's needing one ring of overpower, as we can see when we're stretching out into the red. I go with a little bit more than that, just to make sure we get over. It's about one and a half rings OP. You can see the tip of the needle just going through the red band of the target. Then hit perfect, bounces nicely and just hops onto the fairway and rolls very, very nicely on the green. And this is a very nice putt for an eagle.
Hole number four, playing with the backbone. Sadly, didn't get a very good look at this hole, so apologies for that, but hopefully you can tweak and work with it as well. See the spins I'm uh, applying there. I'm just trying to find that bowl, that dent in the fairway, where we get less of movement on the ball guide. I just this one mid plus 20. Mid plus 20. They're aiming at the pin, but sadly I do not hit perfect. I hit great left. And also, I do feel a little bit short there, so you might want to remove a little bit of uh, backspin and also aim, as we were in line with the pin with the great left, just aim a little bit left and perfect should be nice there. I decide to go aggressive here on hole number five. I think with a mini tournament we need to take whatever chances we can, so that's the reason I'm using a Titan. Stretching out, and I'm going with one bar of backspin and some right spin as well. I'm adjusting max plus 10, going to push up to max as well. And then I still need to apply about one to two rings of OP in order to get the ball to bounce on the pad. Important to hit perfect here. But the idea is, look at that bouncing just nicely on the pad, rolling and checking up around there. Maybe we could have removed half a bar of backspin, but this is a very makeable wedge. Once again, I'm using the end bringer method here. I'm almost at max distance, not quite though, so 90%. I'm playing this uh, obviously with 15% elevation if you are using slider. No spin shot, so you just get the ball guide to the hole and then make your adjustment. But if you don't have the end bringer, you can use different wedges as well. Just play with whatever method uh, you like here when you're making your wedge shot. Good chance for eagle if you can get this one to drop. Alternative, if you don't fancy spending a tight and just lay up on the right and go for a uh, thorn short iron shot, which will, I would then think, give you a direct headwind shot. So both options very makeable, but this one is the more aggressive route with an easier eagle shot. Hole number six coming up. I do need to go with a berserker with big topper level one. If you have obviously big topper in higher levels, you may well be able to get away with this with a titan. Max top spin is what I'm going with here, stretching out, just making sure that second bounce is going to clear the water and the cliff. Then I'm adjusting max plus 10. Once I'm done adjusting, I push back up to max. I do have room for some overpower, so that is what I'm going to go with. We look at, I think, three rings of overpower here. But we the great right. But we are fine. We do have room for that. And because I didn't put any right spin on, we're OK. We don't roll into the rough. Yes, we are short. We could maybe have got an extra ring as well. But just go with what you feel comfortable with here. This is still a very good chance for an albatross. Looking at the thorn, I'm working out where minimum distance is and where max distance is. I'm not quite at mid here. I'm about 40% of the total distance of the club. So just before the midway point between those two uh, min and max lines. I steady the ball up with one bar of backspin. Find a nice place to bounce. I would recommend bouncing on the green rather than the fringe or the fairway. Then I'm zooming in. Look very carefully. We don't have a great ball guide so we need to take care. I'm just a little bit off though. So let's move a little bit left and we got there. I adjust this one 10% elevation at club distance. So we're just less than min. 40% so 40% on the slider if you use it, plus 10% elevation. We hit perfect, and we drop this one very, very nicely, dead centre for an albatross. Hole 7, very, very nice wind here, we have to go for green. So extra mile 6, going with Titan, 4.5 topspin, 1 bar side spin to the right, stretching out, look for the ball guide pointing down the middle of the fairway. As you see, you wiggle left and right, it does move a little bit depending on what part of the fairway you land on. I just max plus 10, then I push up to max, and then I'm going with not quite full OP, looks like about five rings here. Uh, you could go with full overpower if you want to, I think you will get a rollout onto the green here. We were quite lucky here, sometimes if you just make it onto the green you do have an overpower putt, but this left a very straight wind wedge for the eagle. Hole number eight, the cliff shootout. I only have sniper level five here, which is a shame as we don't have 
fully developed ball guide, but I do have a good go at this, just need to offset a little bit more. My adjustment here is mid distance with 10% over adjustment. Speed is very good here, but we do need to take care and modify our aim point slightly. As you'll see, even though we hit perfect here, we did just take a miss to the side. Nice speed though, if just about three quarters of a square to the right. So we can modify our aim point and learn from that going forward. Hole number nine, very nice wind here, going with a katana for the three bars of left spin, playing with three top spin, which is max top spin with quarterback level six. Check your second bounce needs to be comfortably over the water and onto the fairway. Adjust max plus 20 here, max plus 20, no push up. And we're going with one ball of curl, or rather the uh, the right edge of the ball touching the inner wall of the adjustment ring to the left. So it's about 80-85% of the ball outside. Bounces really nicely there. Nice to use the quarterback for its ball guide and accuracy, and also the curl. 306 yards. And that leaves us with a max backbone here. I'm looking at the red ring touching the rough almost at max distance so look at the top left top right of the red ring touching the rough one bar of backspin then you need to apply right spin to get your ball guide in line with the hole so turn the camera ar around here and just mix and match your right spin probably need just over two bars but it depends where your drive lands so just apply right spin to have that ball guide pointing at the pin adjust this one max plus 10 you see, after that's uh, going to bounce there, the wind is going along the same direction as the ball guides. That's why we aim at the pin. So max plus 10, hit perfect. Bounce on the island. Are we going to get there? Yes, boom. Straight at pin for an albatross on hole 9. Thank you for watching this video here on the YouTube channel. If you want plenty more Golf Clash content, including walkthroughs, shot replays and tutorials please do check the channel homepage bkgolfclash.com thank you for watching and we'll see you soon bye for now